It had been my original plan to take a ship from Singapore to Java in Indonesia, but very few ships would take passengers and the Indonesian authorities were fussy about foreigners arriving at their frontier anywhere apart from an airport, so I caught a flight to Jakarta instead. With time and money running short, I decided not to spend time in Jakarta, so I caught the overnight train to Jogjakarta in central Java. I spent a few days in Georgia and was lucky enough to be guided around by a university professor called Dr. Soroyo, who I had met on the train from Jakarta. Dr. Soroyo's family accompanied us and I was invited back to their home for a meal each evening. Leaving Georgia by train, I travelled to the town of Surabaya where I stayed overnight in the quaintly named Bamboo Den Guest House. I also took the opportunity to visit Surabaya Zoo and see the famous Komodo dragon lizards that inhabit the island of Komodo, east of Bali. The next day I took a minibus to Probolinggo and then travelled in the back of a pickup truck to the village of Ngadisari. Maintenance of these vehicles was done as and when needed, so arrival times were rather flexible. Very early the next morning I joined others in a hike up to the rim of the Mount Bromo volcano to see the sun rise over the crater. After returning to my hotel for a well-earned breakfast, I returned to Probolinggo, where I had a long wait for the train to Baniawangi. Jam karat, literally translated as rubber time, was a popular phrase in such situations. Eventually my train arrived and I had an uneventful journey on to Baniawangi from where I caught the ferry to Bali. After a night in Denpasar, I took a Colt minibus to Singaraja and then to a beach just along the north coast to stay at a place called Homestay Agung. This was the guest house run by Bill Pierce, the son of a friend of mine from my hometown. This is where we ate the excellent food prepared by Mrs. Pierce. And this was my bedroom. This is Bill's wife and family. Homestay Agung, as it was called, enjoyed some spectacular views. I even got to see a Balinese funeral. And visit the local market. But perhaps best of all were the sunsets.
Sadly, my adventure in Southeast Asia was now nearing an end. I returned to Denpasar and then travelled on to Legion Beach in the south of the island. After another week staying at a lossman in Legion, it was time to board my flight for the trip to Perth in Australia. I would arrive there late at night with only $100 to my name. Would I find work in time or would I have to beg the airfare back to the UK? My story continues in part three.